Okay, a couple of new things in the version 4 of Google Maps. One is the uh, new layer, which is um, for Buzz. So, if we go back, and I'm see this, and that's starting to populate with uh, people who've been using it today. There's lots of these little messages people are adding in, various bits of information. This one is coming in. I'm on 3G here, so it might be a bit slow in, in, indoors. I'm not sure why that one was saying loading. A lot of people are just saying trying it out. Um, okay, I'm hitting some non buzz ones here, they're um, transport layers. They're quite interesting. As you zoom in, they become a bit more effective. So here's one I posted earlier. Um, you can add a picture to it as well. And people have been replying to this, so you get replies to the buzz in your Gmail stream. I'm not quite sure how you do that. Loading. Okay. So you double click on one. I've not done this before. Let's see what happens. Okay. So you can add a comment onto someone else's buzz. That will then go into their Gmail. And you want to add a buzz, you simply click on this little icon down here, type in what you want to do, and you can add in a photo uh, or a bevel from the gallery. So when you do this, it also has the interesting fact that they're always a square. You can uh, change the size. But it's a square one, so bear in mind that any of the images are going to be square. That then goes into your buzz. You can do post, but obviously I'm not going to do that right now because that was just a, a test one. One other thing that is there now as well, when we go into more, if I've not noticed this before, is labs. Now, labs is something that appears on regular Google Mail and other Google products like the um, Google Maps but we've got lots of different things you can add to extend the functionality scale bars, categories, layer buttons, compass arrows, traffic labels, my location, bubbles, measuring things. so there's lots of little things you can you can play about with and add into the mobile version of Google Maps.